Oh, let's see if she'll let me. Oh, look, it goes on and on. Look how long it is. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh boy. If I'm craving kimchi and I'm out, I would eat this. Oh, really yummy. And it's sort of like eating potato chips, but it's not obviously, but it has that crunch, salty, and savory taste. So good. I could drink it. I literally could drink it. Oh, I love this like spicy paste. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Ooh, it has a kick. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. The ingredient list is also available in the description box below. For the spicy one, I'm gonna use one English cucumber and for the non-spicy one, I'm gonna use the second cucumber. Each one weighing in about 330 grams. You could also use Kirby cucumbers or Persian cucumbers, but remember, Persian cucumbers will soften super fast. I want you to cut the ends off. To cut our cucumber, we need a pair of chopsticks and we're gonna put one on this side and one on the other side. And we're gonna start about less than an inch down from the tip here and then we're just gonna cut going across like that. And notice how the chopsticks are stopping my knife from going all the way through. So we just wanna cut straight across like that and then move your cucumber up since this part of the chopstick is fat and this lower part is very skinny. And just keep on going. And when you get to the end, leave about an inch if it's really thin at the end like so. Then what you wanna do is flip this over so that the uncut part is facing up. And same thing, chopsticks on both sides, but this time, instead of cutting it straight, we're gonna cut it at an angle, about this much. So we're gonna go down from here, and again, the chopsticks are catching my knife from going all the way through. Look at that, it's like a slinky, it's pretty cool. Be gentle with the cut cucumbers and I want you to place them in a big bowl like so and make sure they're not bending too much. And if it breaks, it's not a big deal. We're gonna add three tablespoons of coarse sea salt. If you can't get sea salt, use kosher salt. To this, we're gonna add one cup of hot water. Then I want you to melt the salt until most of the salt has dissolved like so. And here I have two cups of cold water and we're gonna pour our salt, salted water into our two cups of cold water. Then we're gonna pour our salted water to our cucumber like so. And just try to squish it down a little bit. So right now if you touch the water, it's kind of lukewarm and that's perfect. So we're gonna let our cucumbers hang out in this salted water for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, halfway through the soaking time, I would gently pick them up and then turn them over. So both sides get equal amount of soaking time in our salt water. While our cucumbers are still soaking away, let's get started on making our seasoning sauces. Let's first start with our non-spicy seasoning. So here I have one clove of garlic and you wanna use a microplane and grate your garlic into a puree like so. This literally is about quarter teaspoon of pureed garlic like that. Then to this, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using apple vinegar, but you could use hyunmi, shikcho, brown rice vinegar, or any white vinegar. Half teaspoon of brown sugar. A little bit of black pepper. Now the next two items are optional. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest, about that much. Just scrape it with your finger and add it to our bowl. And 
I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of sogogi dashta, that's beef bouillon powder. Vegan friends, you could use yandu or add just a small pinch of MSG and then just mix everything up and this is it. It's easy as that. Now to make our spicy seasoning sauce, we're gonna need two garlic cloves. Instead of mincing your garlic with your knife, when you grate it using a fine microplane, the garlic just infuses so much better with the seasoning it just tastes so much better. There's a huge difference. This comes out to be about half a teaspoon of finely grated garlic. And to this, we're gonna add half a tablespoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon of fish sauce, mirchi ekjat. So remember that fish sauce does not smell fishy. It just tastes like super concentrated taste of the sea, like liquid salt. Vegan friends use yandu, or you could make fish vegan sauce, and I have a recipe for that, and it will be linked in the description box below. To this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of brown sugar and one tablespoon of gochugaru. This is Korean dried red pepper flakes coarse ground. If you only have the fine ground, you could use that too. And then all you need to do now is just mix everything up. So it becomes a thick paste like this. Scrape everything out. Oh, it smells so good already. It smells garlicky and super yum. Look at that. Look at that thickness. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is gently pour our cucumbers into a strainer like that. Be gentle with it. Make sure they're still together and intact. And then what you wanna do is rinse with cold water. Just for about a good 30 seconds. You don't have to be that thorough because we want the salt to remain somewhat. So it seasons our cucumbers. Alrighty, this is done. Then pick it up and just shake it a little bit. Let it hang out in here for like a minute or two. Drain any excess water. Then I want you to gently pick up your cucumber and place it on a plate. If you have a long rectangular plate, that would be even better. And just kind of stretch them out just a little bit like that. Then this is the easiest part. So our non-spicy dressing that we made, you just want to pour it on top like this and kind of let it seep in between the slices. You could eat this right away, but I highly recommend putting a plastic wrap on it. Wrap it loosely like this and let it hang out on your kitchen counter for 15 to 30 minutes and it will taste even better. And here's the spicy one. So what you want to do is Take all of it out like that. Then you put it on your hands. Obviously use a food safe glove and then you take a little bit and you just kind of spread it on top like that. Oh, it smells so good in here. Then you could also gently turn it over to the other side and add the remaining paste on our cucumber like that. Okay, once you get all the paste on our cucumber, then I'm just gonna clean my plate. It drives me crazy. Then we're gonna cover it with a plastic wrap and I will let it sit on your kitchen counter for 30 minutes and it will taste so much better. So it's been 30 minutes since our cucumber babies have been napping under this plastic blanket. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, this refreshing smell of cucumber with this like pool of extra liquid on the bottom now. I could drink it. I literally could drink it. Our spicy one. I like this one better. Well, I like both. You know, they're like my kids. I like all of them. Oh, wow. I just got a whiff of this like spicy, garlicky, salty smell. Oh. And this also has a little bit of liquid on the bottom too. Oh my God, my mouth is on fire right now. It's like, oh, you need to eat this. Oh, look at that, our spiral. And there's more. Ah, I just broke it. <laughs> That's okay if it breaks. Here's the other side. Look at that. Oh, amazing. And then our spicy one. Oh, let's see if she'll let me. Oh, look, it goes on and on. Look how long it is. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, let's eat this. Sadly, we have to go in and cut our beautiful cucumber spirals. It just, that's just the only way to eat it. So yeah, we gotta cut our pretty spiral. I mean, this non-spicy one, I could eat the whole thing. So if you cut it into three, you know, four slices, you still get a little bit of spiral. Pretty, huh? All right, so I'm gonna taste the 
non-spicy one first. Mm. This is like perfect amount of saltiness for me. And it's sort of like eating potato chips, but it's not obviously, but it has that crunch, salty and savory taste. So good. And then I would taste the magic juice that pulled together in that 30 minutes of resting time. All right, bon appetit to everyone. Mm. Oh, it's so, so tangy. And you could taste a little bit of that uh, lemon zest. So refreshing, because it has that cucumber juice with salt and garlic. Ah, oh, this is so good, so good. Cut our spicy one too. Onto our spicy one. Ah, oh, I love this like spicy paste. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, bon appetit to everyone again. Mm. It sort of tastes like cucumber kimchi, but this isn't cucumber kimchi, because in kimchi we never add vinegar. Oh boy. If I'm craving kimchi and I'm out, I would eat this. Oh, really yummy. Mmm. With rice, it's just wonderful, wonderful. I have a recipe for this purple rice if you want to check it out. The spicy one with the rice, ooh, it has a kick. I love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> These guys are just like when you make any kind of salads at home. They're made to be eaten that day. Max of two days or maybe three days in the fridge, but this is best enjoyed on the day you make it. If you want to learn more Korean side dishes, make sure to go to youtube.com slash modernpepper Click on that playlist tab and select Korean Side Dishes Playlist and I will see you there. I want to thank you for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I want to kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you haven't done so and hit that notification bell so you and I can make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼 좀 눌러주세요. 다음 영상에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. 감사합니다. Alright folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.